Yeah, go, go. I got this guy. They've been like trolling me on the internet. So before I got in the UFC, these guys, I supposed to fought this guy, right? At 185. I didn't want to take the fight in the first place. I got, it was like for C, it was for some, I can't remember what, I can't remember what company it was for. And I got sick trying to cut weight. I got sick trying to cut weight. And I couldn't make the weight. I was sick. And I've never not made weight. So my manager, they all decided to pull me out of the fight. They pulled me out of the fight. And I felt bad. But I was like, damn, I want to fight that. I want to fight him just because, you know, I signed to fight somebody. Him and his friends, they meet, they, they get on the internet and troll my page. I'm like, dude. Go somewhere. You know how many people I've tried to fight and they and they couldn't fight me because whatever happened, I didn't go looking for them and memeing them. It's just it's like three years ago. These people are still follow me, like talking to me. I'm like, get off my nuts. Like, I'm sorry your boy didn't make it to the UFC, but I, that's his problem, not mine. It, it, I mean, he would have lost anyway. It's a weird mentality, like. When you have people trolling you, like, I mean, I look, I get the same. And, and sometimes I look at these comments and I'm like, the fact that you even like sit down and, and, and take right. the time and the effort, right? To, to, and, and, and literally, Dude, I'll, I, and, people you like? and, and, and majority of the time, I'll just respond to them with like a positive comment. I'm like, you know, I'm one of those people. Right. I'll be like, I'll fight you with love kind of thing. And it's hilarious because like, right. then they don't have anything to come back on. But like, my whole mentality on it is, what are you doing with your with your life? Like literally, like what you know, you, 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 you have these guys and they write this stuff, and then you look at their account and they have like maybe one follower, right? And I'm like, you've literally created an account for this purpose. Like yeah, it's to talk to me, yeah. It's so weird. He's like, dude, my thing is this. It's like, so you trying to tell me that you have nothing else better to do? I have too much shit going on. I can't sit on the internet and write to y'all. I can't. I mean, what? What you want me to do? I got a life. I can't, I'm not gonna talk to you all day. I got a daughter. I got a, a dog. I got a house. I got I got mortgage and shit. I can't be talking to you all day. I got sick grandparents. I got a mom. I got a you know, my niece and nephews. I'm always got with me hanging. I ain't about to talk to you on the internet all day. But what gets what's crazy to me is just them talking about this thing that happened two years ago. What you want me to do? You want me to fight them sick? <laughs> what, you, what, what you want me to do? Like, dude, get out of here. That's what, my thing is, if you want to fight me so damn bad, make it to the UFC and fight me. You're not here. I am. So if you want to you want to fight me so bad, make it to the UFC. Ask for the fight. I think they're trying to use my name to get in the UFC or get, like, a shot. They're trying to talk to me like, oh, this guy in the UFC was scared to fight he, me. And he's in the UFC. Imagine what I'll do. So first of all, Puna, Puna Cerulio, can't really say his name. I don't know how to say his name. Puna knocked your ass out in the first round. <laughs> right? Puna beat the hell out of him. 